What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can share your password between Mac computers and iOS devices and vice versa. I just want to say that this also works between a Mac and another Mac as well as iOS device to iOS device. All you need is to have to make sure you're running the latest software. This computer is running High Sierra. This is running iOS 12. I believe they introduced it in earlier iterations, but just make sure you're in the latest operating systems. Um, this is helpful if you're going over to like a friend's house or something, you want to get the Wi-Fi, and they don't know the password, you don't know the password, whatever. It makes it quick and simple for you. So, the first way we're going to do it is we're going to show you transferring from a Mac to an OS device. It's pretty simple. So this Mac is already connected to the network. So, all you got to do is come over here to the device you want to connect. Click on it. It'll say... It'll give you the rundown on what you need to do. You can also bring it near any iPhone, iPad, or Mac, which is connected to the network, and has you in their contacts. So, you just give it a few seconds, and boom, popped up on the Mac. Said, do you want to share the Wi-Fi password? Go ahead and hit share. Auto-populates and connects. It's that simple. Now your device is connected. So, I'm going to take a break, go and disconnect this Mac from the network so I can show you how to do it from an iOS device to a Mac. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I went ahead and cleared the network from my Mac so it doesn't remember the password. I'm gonna show you how to do it from an iOS device to a Mac. So it's pretty simple. Here's the device that's connected. Here's the Mac that's not. Go up to your Wi-Fi, select the network you're trying to share, click on it. It'll tell you the exact same thing, the process. And instantaneously it popped up on my iPad asking if I wanted to share it. You go ahead and hit share. And you give it a few seconds, and it should auto-populate over here. So I'll give it a few seconds. All right, that one took a little bit longer, actually, but as you can see, it populated in here, went away from the iPad. So once you do that, you just hit Join. As you can see, it connected to the Wi-Fi network. So that's all you need to do. This That's the way how you transfer it from a Mac to an iOS device and an iOS device to a Mac. Now, you can do this from Mac to Mac. I know I'm saying this again, but I just want to make sure this is clear. You can do this from Mac to Mac, iOS device to iOS device, or iOS device to Mac. You can do it any way that you can imagine. You can, I think you can even do it with the Apple TV. So um, that may be another video down the road. If you found this video helpful and you liked it, uh, go ahead and please leave me a like and consider subscribing. I always am putting out new how-to content. Uh, usually revolving around I or Apple products, so I'm going to try to get into more here eventually. But if you've got any comments, any questions, leave them in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.